Welcome into D'Angelo Auto, where today we're going to spend some time with our 2013 Mercedes-Benz GLK 354-Matic. We'll start by taking a quick walk around the exterior of the car. I'll show you every wheel. We'll pan each side of the car for door dings or imperfections. And as I go around the exterior of the car and the interior of the car, I'll make sure to point out any notable features that would be important to see. So to start, we're just panning down the side of the passenger right side of the car. And as you can see, mirror finish with uh, very few imperfections. And I can't even see a door ding on this car. Here's the rear wheel. Again, no curb rash or anything interesting on there. It's a Michelin tires on the car all the way around. And we'll go around to the rear of the car again. Really nice condition. We'll go ahead and pan the bumper just so you can see how nice it is. Chrome's also in nice shape, the trim there. No real, nothing really to show you, I guess. And then let's look down the driver's side, left side of the car here. And again, a mirror finish, just like you want to see in a black car. As we go down, just notice that it's all body lines and nothing really extra at all. All right, let's take a look at the wheels on this side of the car. Again, Michelin Premier LTX tires over the five spoke wheel. This one again has the gray metallic finish and no curb rash. Here's the driver front. This wheel's actually turned out a little bit. So I'll get it. go ahead and show you the tread depth. Now we did not put these tires on the car, but the tread depth is such that I would expect it to be over 80%. Let's pop into the car real quick. I'm gonna open it up. Show off the interior, fire it up and even press some of the buttons. So first, we'll just pan the upholstery to give you a better look at the condition. The driver's seat, just a super, super clean car. On the front, there's a light scratch right here, but pretty minor and insignificant in the big picture here. And then we'll jump in real quick. Fire it up.
just 44,000 miles and overall the car really shows it somebody whoever owned this previously really took care of it see the steering wheel buttons it's super common for these buttons to uh, kind of flake off and lose their soft trim coatings this one shows no signs of it on the steering wheel and then likewise on the stereo here in the center and then you have your heated seat and your dual climate control here just below it here is a like a cubby hole you've got a power outlet here change holder another thing to note is just how nice the wood trim is all the way through the car over time uh, in a lot of older Mercedes it's common to see the cracks in the wood or maybe a little discoloring this particular car shows no signs of that it's uh, in really nice shape all the way around here's your multimedia interface You've got your telephone function here it also uh, has Bluetooth with streaming media being a 2013 which is really nice and being the updated 2013 the shift selector is right here on the center console opposed to uh, or on the steering column opposed to it here in the center console it also has the paddle shifters if you're so inclined oh, and then we'll go to the back seats you're gonna want to see those again super nice in fact I don't know I can't say for certain, but it almost appears that the back seats have never been sat in or have seen very little use. They're in almost perfect condition. I'm going to call them 99%. And if we look up, you have the dual panoramic moonroof, which is one of the more popular features in this car. Kind of brightens up the inside even more for our gray Oregon days. Here's the rear trunk space got some mats on the floor for you and then the rear seats also fold down flat push button convenience to shut the trunk another thing to note is the aluminum roof rack rails that's an upgraded feature for this car there are lower end models that do come with black plastic and then it's daytime so you really can't see but it does have the LED lights that are really cool also so this is a little more of an extended walk around of our 2013 Mercedes-Benz GLK 350 4Matic I hope uh, it kind of gives you an idea of what the car is really like for more questions answers details etc please visit our website at d'angeloauto.com where we're built on quality and driven by relationships thanks for watching